All right, ISA official checklist. You and me are going to nail packing for our first mission onto alien soil. <laughs> Compass, check. Organism sample bags, micro, medium, and megafauna. Check, check, check. Shoe shine kit. I'm not going to shine my Birkin sandals in the middle of a mission. I should be packing a spare button down and my feelings journal. Oh, and my carabiners. And I, oh, no. What would Sim say? Aurelia, if it's not on the list, it's not in your bag. Sorry, carabiners. Today I'm following the rules all the way to a new home planet. Entree! Hey, Sim, welcome to Casa de Banks. And happy set foot on an alien planet and negotiate settlement day. It's finally here. Guess who got you a hope no planets blow up present to celebrate. A frappe. Oh, gimme. Oh, yeah. Hang on. This isn't duplicator coffee. This is real. Bob said he was out of beans. I've been choking down his mustard seed espresso for weeks. I may have approved an expansion to Bob's kitchen garden in exchange for his secret bean stash. Relaxing rules for contraband, a good luck gift, and according to my schedule, running seven minutes late rather than your traditional 30 minutes early. <laughs> Who even are you? I'm chill, Sim, now. Relaxed, easygoing, and not hung up on rules that cause potential new planets to explode. A more balanced me. And excuse me, miss, time is an illusion. You have a schedule? That's right, Sim. This Lucy Goose flies straight and narrow now. Less off-the-cuff daredevil charm, more by-the-book rationale. Speaking of, you're in violation of ISA landing party rules. Not carrying a backpack. Didn't you get my list and dossier on the planet? <clears throat> We made contact with the Dodells via long-range scanners and have been communicating via text for several weeks as we approach. Despite a massive communication barrier, we've been invited to planet Pan T5 to negotiate potential settlement. You memorized the dossier. New Sim oh. travels light, but still knows their stuff. Look at us. You, more cool and relaxed. Me, a medium-sized stick up my ass. We're really meeting in the middle as co-captain Sim. I have a really good feeling about this planet. We're not going to screw this one up. Nope, we are not going to screw it up. We're not going to screw it up. We are not going to screw it up. Not going to screw it up. We're 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 not going to screw it up. Too careful in this thrilling, yet uh, maybe a dangerous alien landscape. All clear, crew. Welcome to Panty Five. Woo yeah. Oh, fresh air, thick, thick fresh air. Unreal sunlight from two suns. Oh, toasty. I'm gonna get so sweaty with the locals. <sighs> Plant life. Leafy, stalky, sprouty, and weird alien plant life. Hold on to your hat, space friends. You're finally about to see botanist Bob bloom. Uh, attention! <clears throat> Everyone fall out. Um, no, uh, I'll fan out. Uh, Mo and Bob, biological readings. Make sure nothing is um, going to kill us. Good. Solaris and Dusty, let's get our bearings. <laughs> and Sim, do uh, you okay? Do you need a task? I already gave myself a task. Admire new planet. Can you believe this place? Wide open skies, wiry curling grasslands, towering pillars of rock. It's so bizarre and beautiful. Yeah, it really is. 
Hey, and we got us here. Co-captain. Yeah, we really did. Oh, wow! Ah. Captain Aurelia, this is gorgeous. Uh -huh. Ah, look, five unknown species in one bush. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have the best time doing the zoological index. Ah, uh, sorry, Sol, because, you know, I need to focus on the entire ISA settlement matrix, not just what old Aurelia would have found, quote unquote, fun. Wacky alien animals, hey, Sol? I'd be up for that chill activity. Captain Sim! Uh, thanks, but... Hey, uh... captains! The rendezvous point is up ahead. All right. Adventure! Etc. Et yes, let's go, team! We don't want to be late. So, double time. Knees up. Hut, 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 hut. Hut, 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 hut. Go, captains. Field long. Planet Pan T5 continues to impress, taking box after box of the settlement matrix. Even if the air is a little swampy. Where? It, where, 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 where what is that smell? Musty. That's. Ugh, ugh. Like a, a salty ammonia. Kind of reminds me of something. Oh, something gag worthy. Oh. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Does it smell plant based? Should we have a big group sniff? Aurelia, uh, shall we log this as a stink or a stench? Defensive positions. Why, check the ISA guidelines on odor, team. Whoa, <laughs> explorers, chill. So the air's a little juicy. We're on an alien planet. Let's all go with the flow and soak it up. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, good job, Sim. Yep, let's go with the flow, but uh, like a fast-moving flow in formation over to our rendezvous point at that clearing. All right. Team bio samples. Mo, Bob, and Solaris. Check out that stream. The rest of you, double time. You know what? Make that triple time. When Botany Calls, Bob answers. Why, hello, Bulbous River Reed. Hi, Bob. <laughs> this river look like water or beer to you two? It's very frothy. Hey, hand me my sample bag, so I really hope it's beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so Aurelia and Sim seem to be getting along, right? Well, how can you be mad when you're seeing exciting new plants? Oh, I've got to get a closer look at that one. Yeah, the captains are getting along, but did they do a brain swap or something? Seems acting like she's popped a blister pack of benzos and it chilled me to the bone when Aurelia used the ISA manual. Though the ordering me about part, different kind of bone. Sim and Aurelia do seem over their stuff, right? Maybe, probably. Who cares? We're literally hiking to an alien hole of palooza. I've been limbering up all week for this, check it out. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Mo! Your leg is behind your head and you are still standing. Yeah, open sesame. Mo, Sol, quick, check out this incredible mega pedal. It looks kind of like a pitcher plant, but it has an anther as big as me. Thrilling, Bob. Maybe don't put your arm in. <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> Oh, it pollinated over me. What an honour. Quick, Sol, take a sample. Got it. <laughs> you okay, Bob? It really caked your face. Want a wipe? Just another day of being overcome by the miracle of plant soul. <laughs> but yes, a wipe would be great. Oh, holy pustules, your face. What? No, what? <laughs> it's freaking gross, dude. He must be having a reaction. Oh, let me see. What's that sound? Bob, Sol, Bob, get over here! Anyone have eyes on what it is? Sounds like a drunk elephant, Captain. We're very hard to reason with, believe you me. Oh, the don't elves should be around here. They could be in danger. Laser guns at the ready. I'm gonna 
kick. Activate personal translators. Activated, Captain Jackson. Oh, the disgusting flesh demons are our alien friends. Hello. Oh, Ambassador. So wonderful to meet you. Uh, in accordance with ISA first contact procedure, let me introduce myself as Captain... Oh, Sorry, as Captain Aurelia Banks. This is Captain Simone Jackson, and the rest is our crew, all hailing from the planet Earth, R.I.P. <coughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. that's an interesting description of my head shape. What a strange and abrasive sense of humour you have. A photocopied flyer? What does it say? I know this flyer in any civilization, Captain. They're throwing a keg up. <coughs> I don't know if your wife would like you describing her. <coughs> wow, they're not that big, and I. Uh... Oh, what a lovely insult! Come invite to drinks with your delegation, like being invited to my homophobic uncle's Christmas. Oh, we would love to. Wait, where are you go- <laughs> Okay, we'll meet you there, wherever there is. Hey, it's all good, Aurelia. I'll run up to that ridge, get our bearings, and BRB. That's be right back. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Damn, Captain A, that alien just roasted us. They must have sent a comedian to put us at ease. This is classy. Yeah, I can't tell if we insulted them or if they insulted us or both. They definitely seemed a bit taken aback by our smooth, flat foreheads. Speaking of looks, I'm not crazy, right? They all look like spongy, sharpy long boys with flesh berets, <laughs> sentient trouser snakes stomping around on testicle legs, like their anaconda dinosaurs. Penises cap. They look like giant. Dicks, I think. It's been a, a while. Ah, oh, yes, I did feel simultaneously threatened and impressed. They did look uh, different, I guess. I'd love to get them in the med bay for a full shaft scan. Okay, so they are actual dickheads. But was it just me or were they acting like dickheads too? <laughs> I'm B. That's back. Wait, dickheads? Come on, team, we just made first contact. Actual aliens, who, by the way, live just over that ridge. And if all goes well, so could we. A human colony on a planet inhabited by these incredibly unique and headstrong species. That's pretty exciting if you ask me. Yeah. Woo! Amazing. Amazing. Woo! Yes. Aurelia? Uh, mm, uh, well, as you and the ISA manual say, questions only bring inconvenient answers. So, I'll recalibrate the translators. Maybe we misunderstood their jokes? That's the spirit soul. And it looks like a sausage fest, all right, but I've been in the service for 20 odd years. Nothing new for me. Happy to help with the diplomacy mission, Caps. Awesome, Dusty. I also volunteer as diplomat. <laughs> yeah, you'd be an expert at handling that sort of thing, especially alone, eh, Bobby? Um, okay, what? First of all, gross mode. Oh. And second of all, Bob, your face. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? Your rash has blossomed into a field of terrifying boils. It's making me crave pepperoni pizza. Oh, sorry, Bob, but protocol says you gotta go back to the ship. What? No, well, well... What if you encounter uh, uh, an alluring fungi or a questionable bog? What if you need Botany Bob? Yeah, too bad, Bobby. You really dicked up going me that flower. You're going with him, Mo. He clearly needs medical treatment. But the welcome drinks. Oh, I've got so many dick jokes. I'll limb it up, Cap. I'll limb it up. Rules are rules. Fall out, you two. Oh, oh. Everyone else, let's go bag us a new home planet! <laughs> wow, 
see him. Yeah, this is a, a lot of flesh, all standing and walking and dancing on round and hairy. Thrilling, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm glad you're so excited and easygoing about it all. To think, of all the planets in the universe, our exploring led us here. Mm-hmm, yeah, somewhere that I feel like I explored already during uni. Hey, captains, uh, check this out. Squichelch, a dodel delicacy. I don't do liquor, but I thought you might like to sample it, Aurelia. Oh, booze, finally. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so sour and thick. Ugh. Hey, you can have mine, Sim. Yes, uh, isn't it fascinating? I've never seen a drink so viscous. Mm -mm. It has a good kick to it. Hey, Caps! Polaris! Hey, hey, see you found us. Good job. Cheers. <laughs> You've been working the room since we got here, Dusty. What's your assessment? Mm. Yep, I've been pressing the flesh. They're a rough and tumble lot, you know, really in your face, direct, like, you know, like real pricks, really. It makes me feel like I'm back in flight school. Oh, and you see that, see that squelchy dude? Oh, oh yeah, the purpley one? Yeah, you know, he looks familiar. Yeah, he reminds me of my ex. Beth loved that toy. Anyway, the Dodells have invited me into their fold, and I'm about to go talk negotiations, you know, with the Dodell ambassador, so you two coming? Negotiations already? Damn, Dusty. You really worked your magic with them. High five! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Great high five, and uh, you all seem genuinely excited, as am I, of course, yeah. Sim, Sim, can we just have a quick chat? Okay, I'm just wondering if negotiating right now is a good idea. I mean, I still can't stop gagging over the penis people. What do you mean? Wait, but you know, because the Dodells look like giant penises. What? Aurelia, come on. Is this some weird excuse because you're panicking? Regulation requires that we take a lot of steps before we commit to a settlement. I'm not going to let arbitrary rules screw up another planet settlement, Aurelia. Well, I don't want that either, but... So relax then. Let me and Dusty be chill and cool and handle the negotiations. Before you know it, we'll be settled in and living life with the Dodells. Because we're not what? We're not gonna screw it up. Yeah! Now, where's that squid chelch? Quick, Bobby. Get in here so I can cure your face and get to that party. What's with all the rubber sheeting in the med bay, Mo? Oh, 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 my boil is going to be that messy? <laughs> no, 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 it's for tonight. No, sit down, let's go. Whoa, whoa what is that? Okay, wait, I, I, I'm not ready. So just... No struggling. <laughs> boil bust in three, two... Oh, devil's ivy! Medical officer detected in med bay. Commencing Janelle Monet Good Times playlist. Oh, computer and music. Is that for tonight? What, what's happening tonight? Oh, well, tonight your gal loses her alien V-card. You know, if we can get out of here in time. But for now, your face of angry pustules is my first space medical emergency. Who knows what crazy alien disease this is? If it can be cured, if it'll take over your whole body, anything could happen, Bobby. Why do you sound so excited? OK, so we've tried Lansing. Hmm. Let's see how they react to alcohol. <laughs> At least the boils get an early drink, huh? Oh! oh, 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 oh. Too burny. Hmm. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry my pus has delayed your sex party, because uh, the streamers are a nice touch. Oh, there'll be plenty of time for puss after the pus, or whatever those dodells have. Besides, medicine is sexy too. You know, I get to try this laser out next. Will it shrink the boil or make it explode? Who can know? It's anyone's guess. Oh, Danny DeVito's daffodils! Oh, yuck. Explode, I guess. <laughs> nice. Oh, and the rubber sheeting did come in handy for your boils, after oh, all. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling a little woozy. Hmm. But fine. Fine. Am I, am I healed? Because, <laughs> you know, I, I bet everyone down there is so pumped to see some more botany action. Woozy, huh? Hmm. A new symptom. No. What's this wild alien disease going to do next? It's going to need a crazy new treatment. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
The devil's doorbell is ringing. What would happen if I injected some of that foamy river water into the boil? Hold on, Bobby, don't move. <laughs> oh, yuck. Check out that colour. <laughs> Careful, I need to take a sample. Okay, Mo, look, is there a crazy treatment that I might enjoy as well? Huh, no, absolutely not. Like nothing that you <laughs> no. like a tickle? Absolutely not, okay. no. They're all extremely painful, yeah. Like a hug? No, okay. oh, God, that will never work. Well, yeah, chuggy cat! Wow! Great to see Captain Sim having fun, Aurelia. She must be over uh, losing Earth. Are you ready to settle down? On the planet, not, um... Woo! New home! Woo indeed, Solaris. Diplomat Dusty is making deals. Captain Jackson is doing keg stands. Apparently, do-down negotiations are just drinking games. <laughs> what fun! And guess what? According to the Settlement Matrix, Planet Pan T5 is the perfect place to live. Yeah, it really, surprisingly, ticks so many of the ISA boxes. Great, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, very great, yeah, yeah. So, um, maybe uh, we could categorise the sunset in the Settlement Matrix? See if it's um, sufficiently uh, beautiful? I suppose we could check if it's a horrific, nauseating gag parade like everything else. Wait, Captain Aurelia, <laughs> do you not like it here? Oh, thank God! I didn't want to offend, but no, we can't move here. No way. Livable is one thing, but the quality of life rating is through the floor. I ran a simulation and the result was just a frowny face. Oh, thank Hawking, it's not just me. This place is a nightmare, soul. <laughs> squelch, squelch, squelch. Greetings, uh, little days. Yeah, okay, oh, Dusty, mm. are you drunk? Uh, yeah, Operation Smoosion and Boozin is in full swing, Captain Perky. Well, uh, the ambassador uh, offered us a sweet deal on an Oceanside condo. Apparently, they're all in real estate and politics. <laughs> he also promised to let me fly the ship on the weekends. You know, like a like a shared custody theme. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I really don't want to do it, Captain. I don't want anyone else's hands on my joystick. I have to find Sim. Yeah, I just saw her. She said, woo, bitches, we're home. And then did a shooey. Wasn't here. Giving them the ship was Sim's idea. Uh, that is a lot of developments. Sim can't actually love this place. Uh, I'm sure it's just horror-induced politeness. Umbrella! Salami! Duffy! Here you are. <laughs> My crew! I love you all! Great. Sim is also wasted. No, I'm not. I'm full to the brim with love for this planet. And booze! But if I'm honest, I truly, madly, deeply love this place. Mm, yes, a lovely booze-addled impression, Sim. But what if we, say, searched a little more and maybe found another planet that doesn't make us feel like someone is trying to murder us in a sauna. Hmm? What? We gotta lock this in. Why flop around space looking for somewhere cold? Yuck. Come on, Rels. We didn't screw it up. Now, see that skinny one? That's the president. All I gotta do is fight him in a headbutt duel and we skip straight to citizenship. A duel? Let's maybe get you a brocca and a nap and rethink that graceful competition tomorrow. No, it's right now. I signed a thing. If you stop, you die. Fun, right? To the head to head! Solaris, put this in the settlement matrix. Ah! What's that? Oh, ow, my... everything. Oh, wh why am I on the floor? Oh. You passed out because of the pain, but I have bad news. You might want to lie back down on the floor. Oh, I just got up, Mo. What's, 
What's wrong? Am I Bob Oil's cancerous or something? Well, Bob, they're just regular boils, not alien boils, just regular disgusting pus-filled boils. Oh, is that not g- good? Oh, well, I have been wanting to try on my pus sucker 300. I guess that could be fun. I mean, help. Whoa, oh. what the heck is that? Mo, no, 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 Mo, please, please, no more. My, my, my bob oils can stay. I, I actually think they look kind of mysterious. <laughs> you know, they just keep that machine away from me, okay, please. Okay, you're kidding yourself if you think they look good, Bob. Besides, I'm a low-key genius. Like, look at this thing. 100% modified for our pus-sucking pleasure. It'll fix you up in two seconds flat so we can get to the keger before last string. Okay, there's a very clever pump. No, 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 no. Done! Done! Oh, oh, that actually didn't hurt at all. <laughs> wow. Really? Huh. Oh, yeah, that was, that was amazing. <laughs> Mo, wait. Why are we not having fun anymore? Uh, I was just really hoping it would be some terrifying discovery. Are you sure it didn't hurt? Oh, it's a message from Aurelia. Oh, great. Party time. <laughs> the planet sucks shit. Soz Aurelia. Oh. You know, we, we can still have fun. We can play on your swing over here and... No, that's a sex swing, Bob. It's not for you. <laughs> whoa, 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 I appear to have become tangled in your sex swing, Mo. All right, all right. Don't hurt yourself. Now, here, take my hand. OK. No, pull yourself out. Don't right. pull no, me no, in, no, Bob. No, no, no. Oh, uh. Bob's a... <laughs> Sorry, Mo, but also, whee! <laughs> Medical officer detected in swing. No, Celebrate no. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> Let's hope the next planet can be as fun as this one. Oh, Bob, you, you ruined everything. <laughs> oh, what a device. So, Sim needs to headbutt the Dodo president out of the ring and then we all win That's it, Sol. Pretty complex, hey? Uh, Oh, I can't tell if she's winning or losing. Yeah, because your eyes are shut, Captain A. I can't watch. Tusty, there's got to be some kind of loophole to get Sim out of here. Uh, Not that I know of, Cap, but... Hey, Skinny did give me their full negotiation guidelines. Do you want to read it? Yes. Oh, 62 pages. Oh, oh, the drawings. Okay. Oh, no. How does that... Oh, that's worse. No, 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 no. Okay, put it away. Put it away. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ooh. I... I don't know, Captain. <laughs> Seems like Sim's having fun. Oh! oh. She wants. Oh, they were just trying to be chill and relaxed, just like I would. And now Sim's gotten lost in a bizarre death ritual, just like I would. We're still leaving, though, right? Yeah, you bet. They'll drive the ship too hard. She needs finesse. A soft, gentle touch. Even if we did leave, where would we go? We've searched this system for weeks and there's nothing else. Sim might be right about settling here. Uh, what about Planet X? You know, the Dodells did that whole improv comedy bit <laughs> about how Earth sounded like stupid, like this X place. You, know, you might have been yakking at the time, Cap. Yeah, you know, it was right after the exhibition jelly wrestling. Solaris, check the Dodell's star charts. Uh, here it is. Located in an area known as the Freon Nebula. Wow. Freshwater oceans, a temperate climate, very Earth-like, technically better, actually, because humans have never lived there and slowly poisoned it. Life forms, uninhabited, a clean slate, no rules, no compromises, no humidity. But Planet X, that's a terrible name. Ooh, how about Planet V? Ooh, (laughs) sounds more my speed. New plan. We're going to Planet V. Oh! Oh. Oh. Sim isn't going to agree to this. If Sim is happy, they can always stay on the planet. (laughs) We can't leave Sim here to die by curtain slap. We also don't know what or who else they've promised in the heat of a moment. (sighs) 
I've been there. One minute you're going with the flow, the next minute you've lost your passport in a Slovenian knife fight, and you have to hitchhike your way back to the French astronomy conference with nothing but your eye heart star, sweatshirt, and half an earlobe. You know how it goes. So you're saying... I have to do the one thing I promised I would not do. I'm going to screw it up. Rescue lock. Dusty Soul and I are crawling under the bleachers towards Sim's barbaric ring of death. In order to save Sim, the crew, and the day, we will knock over the Dodal's precious vat of squid shelch, creating a cloud of confusion in which we will rescue Sim from certain death and hightail it out of here. <sighs> Captain, we know. You literally just explained the plan to us? Shh. Stay stealthy, you two. We're almost at the Squidchelch vat. Oh, there's the light panel, Sol. Plunge the arena into darkness on my signal. A uh, signal? I didn't have anything about a signal in my notes. No, Sol, on cap signal. I shoot the dicks with my laser gun. No, no, laser guns. We create a distraction and grab Sim. I don't think I'm strong enough to grab Sim or knock over the vat. I'll just go stand by the light switch. Sol, no, come back, not yet. You need to hear the signal. Ah, oh, shoot. Hey, Sol's got a point. Sim's fighting dirty. I reckon we'll need some rope to keep her limbs in check. Oh, dusty, Dusty, don't go. God, do we make a plan or not? Fine, I'll knock over the vat of Squatchult myself. <sighs> Be the hero. <sighs> Rescue log supplemental. I've made it to the vat. This is it. Heave ho, and away we go. Heave ho. It appears my center of gravity is too low. My arms too noodle-like. Hmm. I'm busted! Hands up! Hands up! Well, that was me! I'm dead, though, Judge Dusty! But you burst the vat, so good job! It's everywhere! I'm assuming that was a signal! Three, two, Okay, let's find Sim in the dark with Squatchelch everywhere. Ooh, I can't see, but I'm coming, Sim. Oh, good. Oh, ah, oh, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just slipped. Oh, I just slipped again. Uh, Captain? Dusty? I can't see. What? Clara, where are you? Sim. Sim. Yes, we're coming, Sim! You're not gonna die today! Oh, I've got her, Cap! Uh, slippery and long! Uh, oh. Hey, skinny! Uh, sorry, buddy! Hey, you seen Sim? Uh, Sim? Sim? Oh! The lights are back on! Yay! We can see again! Hey! We were right next to each other! How about that? Ugh! I don't even want to think about how Bob's going to get these stains out of these flight suits. Oh, uh, <laughs> they're all around us, Cap. Oh, hello! Uh, uh, hello, Dodell friends! It's so good to make eye contact with you again! What the hell are you doing? Sim! Can I scoop you a glass of Squatchelch off the ground? All my hair. <laughs> Computer bridge. You all right there, Sim? Sim, come on, don't be mad. You were in a fight to the death. What's a girl to do? It was a display fight. I could withdraw my death ring consent at any time. Do you really think I would sign up to headbutt myself to death? You were being like me, and who knows what I'd do if I thought it would help the crew. Plus, you're a little tipsy. What you did was wreck our chance to settle on that planet which sobered me up completely. Well, I was trying to be positive ugh. and respect the local customs of a planet that was offering to help us. So I did my job and smacked my head against their very moist president to seal the deal. 
like a good captain would. Uh... I was trying so hard and you decided to move us all to a whole other planet without even consulting me. I tried too. Rules, protocol, but there was a lot going on. I legitimately thought you were in danger, okay? And yes, I probably should have read the guidelines or talked to you instead of attempted sim napping. So, sorry. But I promise, Sim, Planet V is the one. I can feel it. I really hope so, Aurelia. If this is what the crew wants, then of course, let's go to Planet V. But if it was up to me, I would have spent every day overheated and drowning in Squichelch if it meant keeping the crew safe. A guarantee is better than chasing a dream. I... Bridge. Captain's on the bridge! Yay! We're all back together again! Wow, Cat May. Serving cursed scarecrow dipped in mayonnaise. Yep. Yep, it's Squichilch, Mo. Yeah. And it's in all the places. Uh Status! The Dojals have fired some warning shots, uh, encouraging us to leave their airspace, co-captain. Well, let's oblige them, then. Ready the FTL for launch. Yes, Captain? Here we go, team. To Planet V! Heck yeah! Launch FTL in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Yay! Don't move. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's dripping. Yeah, it's really, oh, it's oh, really great. Mo, come here, give me a hug. Oh, no, give me a hug, Mo. Starship Q Star was written and created by Megan May and Lauren Anderson. For credits, transcripts, and where to follow, head to starshipqstar.com.